What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's me Des again. So in this video, we're going to look at the Army's Information Communication System Specialist, ACES. Basically, we're going to look at uh, ACES specialists in the Army Reserves, what they do as ACES specialists and the types of roles and the different types of jobs. Before we get into this video, I want to thank all those who have subscribed to the channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please do make sure you hit that uh, like button. Uh, if you like this type of video, please do check out my playlist on my channel. So let's get into this topic. In Canada's 21st century army, high-tech communications tools support an ever-changing mission in some of the most unforgiving places on earth. Army communication and information systems specialists travel the world to set up and maintain satellite, wireless, microwave, hardwired, and secure cyber networks, maintaining an unbroken flow of information between commanders and their troops in the field. So what is an Army communication and information systems specialist? An ACES specialist provides fast, reliable, wired and wireless communication and information systems using leading edge voice and data systems. They provide the army with communication and information technology with special skills such as wired and wireless communication and information systems, radio, satellite and microwave broadband technology, voice and data delivery services training. ACES members work outdoors and can support work with various army trades. There are opportunities for qualified ACES specialists to work with infantry, artillery, armored units, and other trades, and can deploy overseas with regular force. As a reserve ACES, you will be trained at the CF School of Communications and Electronics. Trades training takes approximately 18 weeks to complete, and you are trained to the same standard as a regular force member. At the school, you will learn how to use radio and antenna systems, computer systems, satellite and microwave equipment systems, radio communication and information security systems, installation and operations of communication information, and maintenance and operation of power generation systems. Once you have completed your trades training, you will train with your unit part-time and can be called upon to integrate within a Battalion, company size, headquarters element to provide communications for exercises. You will also train within your unit on various exercises. Reserve ACES can deploy with their regular force counterparts, whether at home or deploy overseas. So when you're training as an ACES specialist, you're going to be using a lot of the mounted uh, communication systems, whether it's a vehicle mounted or the dismounted in the headquarters elements. You're pretty much a subject matter expert in everything communication. So when the communications goes down, right, they're going to rely on you to get the communications up and going. Whether it's satellite or any kind of uh, information systems that is used by the Army, both regular force and reserves, you're going to be tasked to operate in a command post scenario, whether it's a company headquarters size to battalion to brigade level exercises. So communications specialists, that's what our ACES are called, uh, they handle all the communications, whether it's the new, newer radios, maybe a little bit older radios, uh, GPS systems, satellites, and stuff like that. One of the benefits of being in an ACES specialist is it, it's a transferable trade. So whatever skills that you have uh, gotten and have acquired, uh, if you're going into the civilian workforce, it is a transferable trade. And the, your employers will look at that, meaning you have more skills than someone who's coming directly from either uh, college or university. ACES specialists are very deployable. If you're looking to deploy overseas with the regular force and you're ACES specialist, there's lots of opportunities because when you're deployed overseas, uh, ACES specialists basically handle all the types of communication systems uh, within your area of operation. You also work with allied nations. As an ACES specialist, you will gain more experience. There may be courses that are you could take overseas as an ACES specialist. When you're back training with your reserve unit, you're going to do a lot of 
exercises with your unit and you will also be integrated within the various different types of combat arms trades and your support trades. So if you're interested in becoming an ACES specialist, the best thing to do is get in touch with a re recruiter, contact a communications regiment in your local area, get gather more information, and then once you've decided this is the trade you wanna be in, then you start your process like I've, I've said in my other videos, start the recruiting process, uh, get onto your BMQ, and then finally get onto your trades training. Just remember the trades training is actually the longest trade uh, course. It's 18 weeks long. You will go to the Canadian Forces School of Communications and you're gonna do all your training. You're gonna be a, trained to the same standard as a regular force member. So there it is guys, the ACES Specialist. Uh, it's a great trade if you're interested in uh, working with communications of various types of newer technology. Uh, it is highly a deployable trade if you're looking to deploy overseas. So there it is everyone, uh, that's the ACES Specialist. I hope you guys like this video. Please give me that big thumbs up. Comment in the comment section if you like this video. Uh, get the words out about my channel. Make sure you guys check out my playlist. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next video.